because we were trying to do um, how to corpse husband. And so we just found a corpse husband beat. And I was like, all right, make sure this isn't going to blow your ears out. <clears throat> down some corpse husband vocals drop down from the sky you're about to die don't cry when i toss your fucking corpse guy high i'm fly and i never let the dumb shit slide call me corpse bride you can only it's super cringe it's super cringe on purpose we stay dressed in black i got a nine on my hip and a 12 on my back about to hit you in the chest like a heart attack and if you see me in the club and come throw that shit back shoot back shoot back shoot back <laughs> I do love this crunchy break though, like hyper pop style. Just a cool little uh, little ditty. I found that one on YouTube, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some stuff on that. So maybe we'll work on that later today for sure. Um, I do try to do like music creation stuff as often as I can. <clears throat> Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. I have a Wednesday 13. I need to early manage nails. But oh, yeah. Thank you. I really actually uh, appreciate that. That's basically what we try to do with our, uh, with our stuff. My partner and I have been working on a bunch of different projects together. Um, so sometimes I'll delve into that, like, grime rap thing that I did there but other times we do more like uh it's kind of like R&B oh here we are <clears throat> Gain presents a oh, tale of boy. longing and longing of course <clears throat> well, while we're waiting for the ad I can go like this and show off my cool little gif background I'm so stoked on this so I'm working on the worst black and death metal hell yeah that's sick Actually, I have a friend who's into dungeon synth, and he does like he me he messes with a lot of black metal stuff too. I've uh, I'm really proud of this because I have this cool GIF background that I that I like put put together. All of this is basically the lowest end streaming setup you can do. This is from like a a little like hundred dollar office PC that I found. Let's see, are we on? Yeah, this is me and my partner. Very like Midwest. Been floating out here so long all by myself. Kind of our like 
um, that was when me and my partner first got together. We just decided to do a thing. We, you guys keep the same pen tempo and the piano player. I would love to hear Roar as in your vocals and the ET from Katy Perry or maybe REM's like him. Dude, that's actually, that's a solid, a solid observation. That's wild. That's actually, I don't, I'm not familiar with that REM. Is that an album or a song? It's hard to say. Like, I wish I could play it right now and copyright stuff. But, um, yeah, like, uh, REM is actually my mom and dad's favorite band. They argued over who loved REM more when they were kids. So that's so cool to hear that those influences are, like, still alive. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, let's see. This is Fur Fur. Oh, song. Okay. Yeah, this is Fur Fur, which is my friend who does um, Dungeon Synth. I love playing this stuff whenever I'm playing anything with pixel art or any kind of, like, thematic video game because this is, like, straight up Dungeon Synth. And I'm fairly certain that I'm totally okay to just play this because it's he's, like, a, a small independent artist. I would love to see, um, especially a channel or, or a series of channels that are like designed around just promoting um, smaller, smaller musicians. That would be sick. Sorry, I don't mean to compete with this music. I'm still figuring out OBS. <laughs> yeah, I think this goes perfect with this game. Hell yeah. Well, I will go and drop you a follow for sure. Same here. I am like all non-monetized and I think I think there should be a way for us little folks who are not really trying to earn like major profits. We should still have some way of being able to like monetize stuff and pay the bills in, in little ways. Um, I think the copyright laws and the way that shit has, oh god, the way that shit has gone so far is just really fucked, as far as capitalism and music labels. I promote 275 labels, and maybe in the next, I'm on a screen with a bit bubble, GTA, oh that's sick, wait, what, why am I not moving, oh cause I, I clicked away, right. I don't know what this is, I don't know what it did. <laughs> Mike Chad is like, all right, what well, you're trying to move with swads? Twitch respects it, but you can't now. I'm just gonna move this over so I can actually see you. And get rid of this. Twitch respects it because you can now uh, know when they know when someone is. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Like being able to to actually say like, okay, this person is not monetized, or this person is. I'm gunning, like, I'm just recently now, de I, I decided that I'm going to gun for affiliate, so I'm trying to do, um, because you can get away with kind of doing a little of each. You can do, like, um, you can have a couple streams where you break a DMCA and then have full VODs where you don't, <clears throat> so I'm thinking about kind of trying to do it like that. This is as loud for you as it is for me, it's blaring in my headphones. Right, I had it turned down for a reason. No, not that. This. So many things open at once. Also, is that Avaros? The this has theme music? I mean, I can 
can play Britney Spears or Katy Perry. Is that true? Can you play Britney Spears and Katy Perry? Evergon's like, oh my god, that DNCA hits like no. Yeah. There's some stuff that just like the moment you try to play it, it's just like, nope. Just using me as leverage to get money. Yeah. Yep, there's a bunch of bands. There's some some record labels and some some uh, just some orgs basically that are like that. Earlier, I was watching um, Idubs prepare for the creator thing, and it's just Idubs sparring. But I realized that it's a live stream from OTK, and I was like, ah, oh, you know, Mizkiff is a fucking dick about DMCA shit. I bet. Beer boy. Is that you? Hey. <laughs> the, the beer Jesus, so maybe, you know? <laughs> <coughs> oh god. Oh god, the rogue. Labels to me, I think, are the ones responsible for the DMC. Yeah. You're probably right, because that's where all the money is. That's where the, like, record execs are, and, you know, the executives are the ones up there pulling the strings. Metallica's DMCA Twitch concert was the best. I think it's hilarious that developers and, um, basically anybody from like live streaming communities have not figured this out yet you would think like Fortnite events come out and it's the biggest thing ever and literally all at the exact same time every Fortnite streamer gets hit because yeah the event is using copyrighted music and it's like you know that the algorithm is searching for it you can actually probably pinpoint exactly to the second when the algorithm is gonna hit them and yet Fortnite's like well there's nothing we can do about it. We want this DMCA music to be in there. Like, just fix the laws. Fix the bullshit already. It's been too long. How long have we had this fucking weird music rights problem? And it's not like artists are actually, like, being paid properly anyway. Most artists are still getting dicked over. Let's see. Let's go check out the Batcave. Oh, PvP King's in here. I like how a bunch of us are just still here at the starting area. It's just kind of our spot that we know. First label's permission, honestly. Yeah. I played for six hours straight and I heard nothing I think Twitch understands. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, they're getting better about it for sure. Oh, hello. Get smacked, get smacked, get smacked. Nice. Alright, so I need to earn enough gold to like buy some armor or something because so far I have not had much luck. <laughs> Man, it is rainy and cold where I am. I'm literally in like three layers. I got thermal pajamas, I got a robe, and I have a blanket on. It is cold as hell. Get over here, bat. Where are they? Get smacked. That's my favorite angle. Get smacked. But with the whole GTA 6 thing, we started a petition and hit 1,006 signatures in January. Said it may be... On the recommended, a week later, six got announced. That's true. So this is something, too, that I've discussed a little bit um, on my stream before, is, like, the way that uh, fandoms have started really molding things because businesses have learned that, like, you can't actually piss off your fandom and still have a successful business for very long. A lot of, for a long time, I think creators felt that way, that, oh, we can do whatever we want, and it doesn't matter, like, this is our intellectual property. But the moment you lose the fans' support, you lose financial support, and that's all that matters in capitalism. So we're getting to the point now where fans can demand things. Fans can say, like, no, 
nah, 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 see, this is what we're going to pay for, this is what we're not going to pay for, and you're either going to do it or you don't do it, but if you don't do it, we're not paying for it, you know? Yeah, it's empty chat. <laughs> hey, Resident Emil! I'm so glad you're here. We were just discussing DMCA's and Metallica and uh, the the way that Twitch like does and doesn't understand DMCA. Twitch, I would say, is much better than YouTube. I don't know if you guys have watched as Ludwig tried to uh, tried to navigate the switch from Twitch to YouTube, but man, he is having trouble because you can't play anything when you're live streaming to YouTube without it telling you, and it'll straight up tell you. <clears throat> Just chilling. We're here listening to Fur Fur. I don't know if you remember. I don't know. Well, actually, I don't know if I really want to give away his identity because he's way into being like secretive and weird. But um, someone that we went to high school with uh, is this artist Fur Fur. You might actually know who it is already. But um, he's been making this stuff. And so I've been using it as the soundtrack for this game Aberroth, which is just a little browser based like pixel MMO. And it's been pretty rad. Rockstar is just trying to make the perfect GTA that everyone can enjoy, but I think Cyberpunk blocked them with neon lighting, so the vibe, city vibe needs to find a way to make it more epic. I mean, that's a really that's a whole can of worms because I think that that Cyberpunk knew what it was trying, but it, it it failed pretty quickly, and then now it's it's having to play catch up. It might be able to play catch up like No Man's Sky did. Yeah, at least Twitch just mutes the VODs. I've played some Rocksmith with custom DLC on stream, and that gets muted a lot. Oh, that's a bummer. I've always wanted to play Rocksmith, too. So, yeah, we got to figure out some ways. Like, there's got to be some way, even if it full-on takes just, like, petitioning to change the law. What kind of music for Rocksmith? I believe Resident Emil, I think. I don't know what you play. Probably Rock and rock and blues and jazz and pretty much everything base rocksmith dlc doesn't get muted oh so that's probably another thing where because this is something that i know is uh twitch has a uh license acquisitions department and they're not i mean obviously they're not really on it but um but they are technically trying to to license things by the way let me know if my audio is fucked or anything song has so much talking in it um yeah twitch does a does a little bit of buying yeah ubisoft had a deal with twitch there's a couple other developers that have had uh deals with twitch where you can play their music but they really need to actually do it like they need to go all in and i'm not saying like buy the rights to all music ever <clears throat> but they need to figure out something it kind of works. I mean, it makes sense that the idea is like, look, you just have to live stream original content only, and that kind of makes sense. But at the same time, it's like, how are you supposed to? How are you supposed to live stream original content with no soundtrack? When, but we've actually been having a really good discussion in here. The Beard Jesus was just mentioning that um, there's a lot of little independent artists, and there's, I mean, obviously, the internet now has given us no shortage of um, labels. Give me handwritten signatures. Yeah. I mean, you can definitely get it through there. Digital ones on my petition. Yeah, so you can, like, present that to Twitch. But it should just be a thing. Like, they should have something where they're like, okay, music ID'd. We know exactly how long you played it. Like, if they... Okay, here's the thing. They've proven, they've showed us that they can they can make the algorithm freaking um, grab up music and show you exactly what it's doing, like, exactly where it is in your VOD. So if the algorithm can do that then they can easily allocate, like, you know what I mean, like, uh, royalties or whatever. <clears throat> it could be like, oh, you played this game for, or this song for 3 minutes and 42 seconds. That's this much money of your ad revenue going to this band. And I realize that would get absolutely fucking insane, but the algorithm that they already have to ID content is pretty insane, so. Yeah. A lot of DRM free music out there. Video game covers, especially. Oh yeah, video game covers are sick. I'm stoked on it. It just sucks because I mean, you know, we've all had that thing happen where you're listening to a, a song, a specific song. And you're like, oh, I know exactly how I could use this specific song. But then it just, it just kind of, you know, you realize, oh yeah, it's not my song. 
And that makes sense. I mean, it does make sense. If you have the idea, I can use someone else's music. Maybe your I your next idea should be, uh, I guess I can't, but... <laughs> Warner BMG version Sony. Mm -hmm. It's like a... Um, I'm trying to remember the production company that I worked with in Fresno that had a very similar uh, lineup of, of labels. I think they were working with a lot of emo labels too, like the Victory Guys and um, Fueled by Ramen and those, uh, all those ones. Wolf? What the hell? Is this a player? I'm not going to get all weird against the wolf, but... Razgari. 400k followers, etc. I do think people need to pay for it, pay it forward, and someone like us, 4,000 and below followers. That's, a, I mean, that's that's for sure. I think that should, be, I think that should be taken into account. It'd be interesting if they just took it into account, like, okay, how many followers do you have versus Victory and Sumerian are now owned by Sony. Nice. Okay. Well, I hope that they all came up fat in that in that acquisition because they deserve it. <coughs> The Victory Records guys especially were putting in a lot of work for a long time. And they dealt with some shitty people. Some of the bands that were on that label, I'm not going to say any names or talk any kind of you know specific shit, but there were definitely some people in there that were in some problems. Hey, I appreciate you, Resident Emil. No worries. I appreciate everybody, man. I'm just trying to get my stream hours up. I'm trying to see if I can't hit affiliate. I would really like to get my, um, my subscription things set up to where people can sub if they want to because that would be super sick then I could start designing uh, emotes and stuff <clears throat> bands are entitled yeah I mean and it depends obviously some bands are better than others and but you're always gonna have uh, a couple of the, uh, the like <laughs> stereotypical uh, rock star Tim is now marrying someone else who's a top comment was around <laughs> I believe it Hey, I appreciate you. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Did you talk to me? I didn't. Did you talk to me? Hi. What I do for people, I mean, my buddy who is a huge YouTuber uh, who moved to California and he's hitting it big, I like to return the favor. Hey, I appreciate that. That's actually um, one of those things I've definitely always been uh, drawn to do. One of my main things is just content creation. I have vlogs and stuff that I've made, but so far I have yet to actually feel like I've really accomplished something as far as... Um, as far as like editing, uh, part of that is just the limitations of software right now. Like, not all software. I'm just mean my software. Um, oh yeah, I have no Markiplier. He's like one of my favorites, and I've uh, I've met him twice at PAX in Seattle. Really nice guy. That's cool. You know Mark. <laughs> Oh, wait, let's see. Um, I think I should try and get to the... Wait, who is this? Epic Gamer! Wait, come back, Epic Gamer! Oh! Mark's buddy. Mike, Mark, Mike scares him with Metal Music. Nice! That's so awesome! That's hella cool, yeah. Mark is a pretty awesome dude. I, uh, I have followed his career for... Not since the beginning, um, but probably like 2016, I started watching him. I 
also made an amnesia custom story based on Jack the Ripper and inspired Dark Applied. That's sick! Yeah. I love that whole arc, actually. I remember the amnesia arc. That was before I started watching, but I watched after. Um, yeah, it's really cool. I was, uh, in 2016, my partner and I went to PAX, and I didn't get to go to the meet and greet, but him and Amy and Catherine were hanging out at a CVS, and uh, we just so happened to be in line in front of them. And I just turned around, and there was Mark and Amy and Catherine, and I was just like, oh! And I tried so hard to be, like, really, really cool, but I, I had to say something, so I was like, hi! And just, like, waved, and Amy said hi, like, really, really nice, of, of course, because Amy's awesome. And Mark was just kind of like, you know how Mark gets when he's at a convention, he's, like, in his, he's in his zone. So I was like, all right. I respect it. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Oh, God! This bat is OP! <laughs> Holy shit! I was killed by a bat, you guys. <laughs> OP bat, Jesus. Okay. Now I gotta go try and get my money back from the bat. Wait, that's not the way. It's so weird how Mark is the nicest, but has childhood friends. Same with Wade. It's cool. Unfortunately, Tyler and I don't get along. Yeah, I mean, Tyler seems like someone who is just, he's got his own, he's got his own way, you know what I mean? So, I feel that. Wade, um, actually, I was going to propose to my partner at the time at PAX, and it was the year that Wade proposed to Molly, and um, I... Autism, he got all self trailers. Yeah. Yep, neurodivergencies, that does that. No, you're fine. Um, yeah, when um, <clears throat> when I it was the year that Wade was proposing to Molly, and I saw that happen, and I was just like, oh, maybe this is an opportunity. So I reached out to Wade, and Wade is actually the person who got me, um, oh shit, who got me a spot on the mic at Jack Septicai's um thing, and I was the I was the guy that proposed to my my partner at Jack Septicai's first solo panel. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to get up into my thing here. Bam. Dope. All right, so now I'm in here. I'm safe. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and on out from there. Yeah, I'll show you some stuff. Let's see. Um, over here on my channel, I have a playlist. Let's see here, all playlists. Oh, I need to. I want to see all of them though. You know what I mean? Can I see all of them, please? I'll do this. Um. Gummy Worm Jim Vlog. I think there's a reason why I will never be a famous person on YouTube on Twitch. I can put a smile on my face every day. Oh man, I know exactly what you mean. And I feel too real. I totally know that feeling actually, yeah. It's one of those things like <clears throat> cause I personally I mean I've got I I'm uh undiagnosed. On the twenty seventh of this month, in fact, I'm thirty five years old. And on the 27th of this month, I'm going in to see, um, I, I'm, well, a doctor and then eventually a psychologist because I need to get diagnosed. I'm almost certain that I have really, really bad ADHD because I suffer from really, really bad executive dysfunction. But um, I've just never been diagnosed, so it's hard to say. Um, was it this one? see there's a bunch of music in this I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so it doesn't blast your ears out also check out that high quality footage from 2016 cameras they were pit people wasn't even out yet we were going to see the behemoth 
This was a fun trip though, I will say that. This was a band that was playing with a Game Boy. That's all the people from Acquisitions Inc. <sighs> I was way out of focus here. They were showing off Fallout 76 before it came out. Scorched Earth, here's Jack's panel. And then I think this is where... Hey, there's me. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Hello. Hello. Okay. Are you on? Yes. Um, Jack, I just wanted to say thank you so much, man. Um, my girlfriend is like, I mean, I I love you too, but my girlfriend is um, she has like a lot of issues with like nerve damage and stuff, and so on the days that she can't leave her the house, be like Casey watching Jones your videos cosplay, and knowing that they're gonna be there, to, like, fill oh hell yeah, it's just amazing. It would be rad for me. I I would really love to go to another PAX. I only went to these two, and um. I just didn't have, don't have the money really to do it much more, but if I ever do get the money to go again, I'm definitely uh, planning to go with China and cosplay it and do a whole lot, a whole lot of fun things. Let's see, January 2017, and then we went to PAX again. What's up, you guys? Gummy Worm Jim here. I don't know. Okay, so this is when we're in like a... <clears throat> we're in the weird Ferris, Ferris wheel, wheel thing in... Um, and they go up to the top... <laughs> in Seattle. Here's us meeting Jack again. Pax was less toxic. It seemed good That's luck. No, no, oh no, yeah, no, definitely. I'm flattered that you're that. Of course, of course. Yeah, we're like, we're I, feel, I feel so stupid. Mark and Amy and Catherine were in line behind me yesterday, and I was like, respect their privacy. Just be a cool person. Yeah, nice. I was thinking about that. I was like, I wonder if they even get to like walk around or yeah. if people bug them. We get like our hours. Yeah. Well, we do get to walk around anyway. People are normally generally very. I was so My nervous. I couldn't like even hold the camera up. Like I was like, I feel so bad sticking a camera in Jack's face. Like he's a fucking famous YouTuber. He doesn't need that shit. I was like, dude, just, just keep it up. I know. I was just saying, like, like, like. Oh, um, I should put a Discord link in, huh? I don't have any of my, um, like little exclamation point things set up. Uh, it's honestly, it's just like me and my and my partner and a couple other people right now. But um, yeah, there's one called, would love to be a person. Of course, you're always welcome to come be a person with us. Um, let me figure out how I can do it. I don't even know. Let's see. This is the Discord. Now, what do I do? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me grab this and go boop. I'm a boomer, so you'll have to be uh, patient with me. Felix is not even toxic, which is quite amazing. Oh, Pudes? Yeah, he, I think, honestly, I feel like Pudes is one of those people who he just, he kind of doesn't recognize what he's doing sometimes, and there's things that he's done that have been so out of line that people have, like, clock, invite people to your server, should give you a link, okay. Um, oh, yeah, here we go, copy, and I'll just put that, drop that right here, paste, bam. Hopefully that worked. Um, yeah, Pudes is just one of those people who, like, man, I could I could go in a whole can of worms about him because I do kind of see the 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 Pewdie pipeline. If you know what that is, it's like the the radicalization factor that people who are shitty and racist can use his his content to radicalize themselves, which is fucked up. Like, I don't think that that Felix is really aware of how impactful he is in that way. But at the same time, I don't think that he means to be like that. I don't feel like that's, you know what I mean? That's not what he's he's about. It's just kind of the unfortunate byproduct of some of his edgy humor. And I think that he's changed a lot since then. Watching him grow up since, I mean, obviously the bridge quote. Before that, though, even before that, there was other stuff. Like the the shooter who shot up the, the mosques and said subscribe to PewDiePie as a meme. Like, he, he didn't even address that, which was kind of an issue for me, but... I mean, all in all, I ended up deciding that, like, I, I don't hate PewDiePie as a person. I don't think that he's really responsible for all the bigotry in the world or anything. And I don't necessarily even think that he's, like, a, an edgelord or anything. I just think that um, some of his older jokes didn't age well. But if you look at, like, 
you can look at someone like Joji. It's the exact same thing. Like Joji's a great person now. And yet you look at filthy Frank and like the way that he was, uh, weaponized by a lot of people because filthy Frank was supposed to be like a satire that Joji was making. But I think people took it a little too far and thought that the art was going to be something more than it was. So it's just cool to see how that's kind of how that opens up discussions and how people are slowly but surely getting getting better about that kind of stuff and how we're all like we're all stepping up our content creation to the point where we're, we're being more aware of our like hive mind because that's what it is the internet is like straight up becoming a hive mind i'm nervous now to put this stuff on my screen i i trust you i just you know <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cool. Hey. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to put that up on my screen just because that's kind of like their, their personal stuff. But it is cute, and that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. I like that. Dun, 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 dun. Also, it, it, I don't mean to say it like, like, oh, I'm not going to put that up on my screen. I mean, like, I'm literally working on a single screen. This isn't even a monitor that I'm on. I'm on a uh, security camera CCD, CCTV monitor. So I just uh, because I'm only working on one screen, I'm super limited in what I can do. That's why you get that's why you keep getting a view of my OBS, because every time that I go to switch scenes, I actually have to bring OBS up on the screen which means that you guys get to see it. So I've just embraced it. I'm like, you know what? I will just let you guys see everything. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> what should we watch on YouTube? <laughs> also, I want to make sure that this is like butted up against the screen if I can. Oh, it's almost too much. I need to make this a little smaller, actually, so that I can get it get it to work. Uh, uh, um, at some point, I would love to do an in space in space with Markiplier run. I don't know if I have permission to do that though, so I'm gonna wait on that until I know for sure. But at some point, Jesus. What I'm trying to do is get this. There we go. There we go. Okay. I need to go soon. Have some labels to call. Okay. Well, have a wonderful uh, day. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you. And yeah, you got this. Labels are run by people that are just like you. And they're just trying to run a business. So you got this. Um. Okay. Let's see. Put that there. Put that there. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm getting awful close to the close button <laughs> so this okay I'll show you right now this I cannot see my mouse I can't see my mouse I can't see my mouse I cannot see my mouse at all even down here I can't look wait wait right here my mouse is gone completely that's how bad the bevel is on this TV so I've been going to wait, many are doing in space you're fine I've been going to other streams telling them thank you oh that's awesome okay all right, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave this alone before I hit the close button. Uh, then over here, I guess we could try in space. I should check real quick and just see. In space, okay for streamers. With Markiplier, <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure like Mark has already kind of expressed that he he thinks it's all right. I just want to make sure that it's like interactive series launch. How many endings? I just want to make sure if it's like. I saw Pokey do it too. It was really cool. Uh, Pokey's uh, playthrough was really fun. Interactive series launch. What's the password? Oh, right. I forgot that a lot of these have like ARGs involved. How can I avoid a copyright? Hmm.
is this a thing? <laughs> Let's ask Reddit. Reddit seems to know, right? To be clear, the music is from the games. Oh, 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 oh gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> to be honest, you'd be surprised what people get away with on Twitch. Oh, I know. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> the big thing is like, what I was <laughs> hot tubs. Oh, dude, I love hot tub streams. <laughs> As an as a grown man, I'm a I'm I'm allowed to frequent a hot tub stream or two. No, but um get that money. I think that uh the thing that's 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 rough for me is like I want to I'm not saying monetize, but I want the option to monetize pretty much as much of my content as possible if I want to later down the line cuz so far nothing's monetized. I don't have a, any plan right now to make money off of this, but at the same time like I'm not making any money. There's no money. If uh, if my landlord asked right now, I would say, I'm sorry, there's there's no money. So I, I got to figure out something. I just wait for a woman to fart in one. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> oh, don't get me started. We could go do the videos. <laughs> Resident Emil knows exactly what I'm talking about. There's some viral videos about hot tubs and farting. <laughs> You've probably seen it. <laughs> uh... Should we get into it? Let's get into it. Let's do it. Let's do a run. <laughs> <laughs> 